Hi friends, this is Charlie from techivitchannel.com and uh, in this video I am going to give you some useful tips. So first of all, uh, let's discuss that if you have attached any USB pen drive or any hard disk in your system. So at the end of your work you do manually go to this taskbar and then right click on it and then say safely remove the hardware. So instead of doing this tedious, tedious process, I would say if you have a shortcut in your desktop, that will be easier because only a double click will do all this work. So how to create a shortcut that we are going to see. So create a new shortcut. Provide this location in the shortcut window. This is the location of all DLL files that are used to remove the USB safely. Now click on next. Give any name let me give any name now click on finish so this is the shortcut created on your desktop and now if you double click on it it will show you all the USB added to your PC now you can select it manually from here and clicking on stop will remove that device from your PC safely so this was all about creating the soft, uh, shortcut for safely removing of any hardware now let's see another tip that uh, many a times you will have observed that uh, whenever you any install any new software that will be started automatically when you start your PC so uh, these are unnecessary software which are automatically started and you need to go to taskbar and manually right click on that and you click on exit or remove on the software so instead of doing this tedious work if you want to do not want to start this software so automatically when you start your PC you can configure it from here now go to run then type ms config press enter so this dialog box is shown here you can go to startup tab and you can select all the programs or services I would say that should be started when you start or boot your PC so let's say I have installed a Skype and uh, previously it was uh, launched automatically when I start my PC so I just navigated to this tab and just uncheck this checkbox so currently whenever I start my PC the Skype is not launched automatically so you can configure any uh, checkbox from here that should be started automa automatically when you start your PC okay now if you want to see a detailed configuration about your specifically your graphics card or video memory or any uh, configuration regarding your processor so most of the people will say that right click on the, your my computer and properties will show everything but that's not enough I would say another command that is go to start and type dxdiag so here click on yes now wait for the dialog box yes it's here here you can see complete configuration of your system like manufacture manufacturer system model bias model processor memory now display will show you the graphics card if you have any graphics card in your system then it will be showed in this display tab here my uh, motherboard intel chipset family 965 is shown over here similarly sound and input will show the detailed functionality or configuration of your PC so that's it 